So, you get a good look. All right. So this is the city pipe. This is your pipe here. Mm -hmm. Sorry, the water. See this? Yes. That's your pipe. That's the city pipe. Okay. So as I go in, this seam is your seam, and that's called a saddle because the pipe is large and your pipe sits on it kind of like a saddle. That's okay. why it's kind of oblong. The saddle is the most important part of the sewer line. It's the most expensive thing to fix, and yours is in very good shape. So as I'm pulling it back from the center of the street, we're going under the street, and this is a six inch clay pipe. It is in very good shape. What I'm looking at is each seam here is connected nicely. There's no separation breaks, cracks, no root intrusions growing in. This is cement from when it was installed. Um, and it's not obstructing the flow of the water, as you can see at the bottom of this camera right now. So as I'm pulling it back, I'm going a little quicker than I normally would, just because I've already seen it. But here's another seam. Mm -hmm. um, you know, a large offset right. wouldn't allow my camera to go by. It would be hitting a wall. So if my camera goes by, then water can go by, and we're in pretty good shape here. So as I pull it back, we did see a very, very small root intrusion on one seam. Um, nothing to even clean at this time, but it is something that we're putting a microscope on right now that's kind of look at every single uh, problem that could happen in the future. I would normally not even bring it up, but uh, it's the only thing I see on the six inch line. Yeah. Wow. You have no trees. Oh, I know. You know what I mean? Usually it's one of these trees. Like so right here, I am, uh, if you were to walk down the stairs and you walk onto the sidewalk, um, right in the center of the sidewalk is where this pipe goes from four inch, a uh, six inch clay pipe to four inch cast iron pipe. And you can see the difference in the material. Yeah. It's very porous and rough. This pipe is original to the house. Uh, it's usually a 70-year-old pipe. Uh, how old is the house? 64. Hey, you just aged me by Yeah, years. I'm like, hey, no. <laughs> so, so I'm like, wait, so, what? No. <laughs> so it's at the end of its life. Does that mean that it's broken and bad and not working? No, but it is porous and rough, and anything that's not biodegradable can get caught on it and build up and cause a dam. You can also see that the pipe is not round. The bottom of it is flat, which means there's a lot of rust and sediment. It's another reason for us to... to see the date that it is getting older. Um, also, when you look at it, you see these stalactites on top, or things uh, dripping down. It usually means the pipe is thinning and the roots are trying to grow through the pipe there. Um, I don't see any uh, major roots growing on in this pipe, but you can see uh, definitely that uh, this pipe is, is old. Um, so as I pull it back, it's coming from there and it's coming towards uh, this patch of cement work right here. And then it turns and goes up towards um, towards the corner of the garage here. Mm -hmm. And at that point, we're going to see a um, it looks like an another which is uh, what this is an access point that they probably used when they uh, built the house. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not being it's not used anymore, but it, it was just me to make a reference when I see it. So you can see the pipe isn't as bad as it is no. down there, no. but you still have those. Uh, so how many years does this pipe have? It can have five years, and it can have 20 years. I don't know, because all I'm seeing is I'm seeing the inside of the pipe. Okay. I can't see the outside on how deteriorated and how bad it is. Okay. Um, just like the other pipe, I could see the outside of it, and I could see water dripping out of it. This, I don't know if water is escaping into the ground. Usually when there's water escaping into the ground, uh, roots find that water and come in. So it's, it's kind of a good sign we don't see roots. They would need to tell you if they've had to run uh, snakes or jetters. I don't see that happening because when you do, then you, you, sometimes it knocks this um, uh, rust off of it and, it and it doesn't look as porous, but it also thins the pipe. Right. So it's not a bad idea to do it, but it's a bad idea to to make it uh, to do it very often. Right. Uh, I wouldn't do anything with this pipe at this point unless you started having problems. Okay. But from what I can see, the pipe is in working condition. Okay. It is old. Um, this pipe runs from here to where my machine is. Mm -hmm. 
picks up the bathrooms over there, which is going underground. Mm -hmm. And so we've looked at it from here to the street. We haven't looked at it going backwards. Okay, let's not call it old. Let's call it mature. Okay. The pipe is mature. It's a mature pipe.